name is Claire Bailey and I'm a consultant ophthalmologist here at Bristol Eye Hospital and I particularly specialise in retinal disorders. The work of the National Eye Research Centre is extremely important to us here at Bristol Eye Hospital as well as nationally. Um, I'm a trustee of the National Eye Research Centre um, and actively involved in the decisions um, that the, the, the charity makes. The charity has been absolutely instrumental in the development of our um, expanded research work here. I'm a clinician and I particularly work at the clinical end of the spectrum, involved in uh, clinical trials for patient benefit. And the work that National Eye Research Centre does is extremely important. It underpins the work that we do here. The basic science laboratory research allows us to develop new molecules and new potential avenues for treatment and then with further development they may be available for use in clinical practice. We've worked extremely hard over the last few years to embed clinical research in our normal National Health Service clinical practice and indeed the unit we're on, on now is on exactly the same floor as the clinics where we see patients on a day-to-day -day basis with retinal disorders. This means that if a patient comes in and has a disorder for which there's perhaps no routine NHS treatment or um, this has had insufficient research to date to know the best treatment options, it means that we can potentially offer them um, involvement in a clinical trial if they wish. So we have a very high recruitment of patients into clinical trials. Every day we'll have suitable patients being seen in the clinic and we can pop around the corner, pick up relevant information sheets and pass that back to the patients for them to, to read. So we've really embedded clinical research in our normal practice, which is a great strength of the unit here. It's extremely important to keep um, improving the, patient, the care that we offer to patients. Because I work at the coalface, I can see where there are still areas that we don't have treatments for. Uh, I specialise particularly in retinal disorders and there is a condition called age-related macular degeneration which remains the leading cause of blindness in the Western world. For the wet form of the disease, we have had major developments over the last 10 years and we do now have a number of um, very exciting treatment options that can hugely improve outcomes and that's really come as a result of the basic science work that the National Eye Research Centre and under other funding bodies undertake. Dry macular degeneration is an area for which there are no current therapeutic avenues, but this is an area of active research based on laboratory studies that have translated into clinical practice. So we are shortly going to be starting a number of clinical trials for people with dry macular degeneration, which will potentially give them other treatment options. And there are um, studies going on in other units around the UK and around the world also looking at therapeutic avenues for dry macular generation. So since I became a consultant um, in 2001 there have been huge, huge developments in my field in terms of what we can offer patients. Um, considerable um, amounts of blindness have been prevented as a result of the research activity and we hope to continue that work um, significantly over the next few years. The National Eye Research Centre has invested over £10 million in eye research since the turn of the century. Mm -hmm.